I'm gonna tell you a story. So the first thing you have to understand is that I'm just not much way to get this. You can call me Oracle, because I'm the one who's talking to you. Welcome to the call. So, I'm gonna make this pretty brief. Um, I told uh, the dude, I sent a message right before I started recording this to uh, the guy who played uh, the Green Lantern to tell him about uh, my little Deepa project. <coughs> So, I'm hoping he geeks out pretty hard about that, because I'm pretty excited about it. But, um, also, let's see. Oh, yeah. So, if you've seen the previous, uh, previous, I'm going to call them episodes, previous episodes where I talked about, um, that Roddy Gallagher Sabohada that I found, or the porno hypnosis that I found that like legitimately I was like listening to it I was like because because I do because I did and I I heard some stuff that I was like this seriously sounds like I'm actually hearing it talking about like uh the 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 um, the pen name for for uh, the series that I actually haven't even finished the first book up so um and I believe when I mentioned when I was talking about it that uh, there is actually David Gary's script in like the background a couple times. So here's an interesting thing that I'm pretty sure I actually noticed. There's a term in Sanskrit. Treasure Slave. Now, here's the interesting thing about Treasure Slave. Now, Contextually, this is actually not very, like, an unheard of concept, just in general. A treasure slave is something that happens usually during a war, where um, you're given, like, where uh, the, the side that, that won is given a hostage um, that eventually they'll have to get back. And they're, like, expected to, you know, treat the hostage well, um, which is why it's called a treasure slave. The thing is, if, like, I believe I've, I may have mentioned this before. Like, this might have been partially what happened with, um, with, uh, the Trojan War, where, uh, the Trojans were like, look, you're not gonna win. Give us as many treasure sl slaves, and we'll just, like, we won't come back for, we won't leave Troy to come after you. And, uh, well, essentially what they did is... As near as I can tell, the Greeks were like, all right, how many? Because, like, they had to listen to the offer. Like, if you're at war and someone sues for peace, like, it's dumb to not listen to the offer. It means that it, it shows that you're actually being unreasonable in the war, um, which you never want. You never want, it, when you're in a war, you don't want to be the side that everyone else who's not part of the war sees as being unreasonable. So if they sue for peace, you gotta listen. But, um... They basically... Now, I could be completely making this up. So, you know, grades of salt and all that. But, they basically say, like, we want this many treasure slaves and put it in a horse. Really? You want us to put it, put them in a horse? You want us to put our, the treasure slaves in a fancy treasure case that's horse-shaped because you're, you're beating us that badly? Really? What else? What else? Oh yeah, yeah, seal it. Seal it. Seal it. Yeah, so you, uh, you know, can't attack us with them. I see. And you're not going to just, like, you know, take the whole horse and, you know, put the treasure slave and the horses into a bonfire or anything, right? No, no, we wouldn't do that. Come on, we wouldn't do that. So, that's the thing. If they requested treasure slaves, here's the thing. If this actually kind of sort of happened this way, one... The notion that the Greeks could have actually had a horse full of soldiers carrying their gear wheeled into Troy 
and they didn't have to stay quiet. They didn't have to be stealthy or anything. They could actually just like talk to the to the Trojans wheeling them in. You know how that would make sense? If the Trojans knew they were in there, and as treasure slaves, they were expected to have their gear for ceremonial purposes, this, that, the other thing, because it was this many soldiers with their with their arms, so they can't like come attack us later. In theory. Like, this is, like, because this is, in theory, actually based around good faith negotiations, which, um, it was pretty obvious that the Trojans were not negotiating in good faith, and, frankly, the Greeks would have been idiots to do so. So, basically, the Trojans were like, you know what, we hate you guys. We're gonna ask for you to end the war. We're going to ask for a bunch of treasure slaves, and then we're just going to kill them all, which is explicitly not something you do with treasure slaves. It's just not. You don't kill them. You don't set them to actually be slave labor. Unless, like, they were literally already slave labor, and then they just get transferred because they were two nations that used slaves. It was a thing back in the day. It just was. Like, it's not a good thing, but it was a thing. Because the thing is, there's a, like, especially back in the day, there's a lot of different contexts for slave, like, believe it or not. Like, it's it's very jarring thing, especially for a white person to say, um, in America, considering how horrific slavery was here. Like, it was a bad thing. It just was. It happened all over the world. It got really bad here for some very specific political reasons, but that's just... Like, that was the Civil War. Like, ba-boom. So, anyway. But, before I run out of this, um, essentially, in the Samohana, uh, it's, well, like, as a hypnosis, I've talked about it before, it's essentially for, like, you know, people who are into trans women. But here's the thing. I was listening to it forever, and I thought it said Pleasure Slave. It's a hypnosis. That made sense. But recently I was listening to it. I think it actually says Treasure Slave. And that, considering there is actually, like, Dave and Gary, and I know it's there. I've seen it. I've gone back and I've looked again. It's definitely there. Considering there's actually Dave and Gary in the background, it might actually be Treasure Slave. Alright, I'm going to leave with that. This is Oracle Dream Safely, everyone. And if, uh... Here's the thing. If you actually want to do something like listen to a hypnosis tape, like do self-hypnosis, like do Atma Samohana, like, good for you. But here's the thing. It works best, one, when it's voluntary. Involuntary hypnosis, not easy. In point of fact, it might actually be impossible. Um, but that's something, like, I'm not an expert on hypnosis. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not going to claim that I am. But. If you're going to do something like this, pay active attention with your listening. Which is part of how I started, like, Part of it was I was actively paying attention. Part of it was I was, as many kinds of meditation are, so I let my focus drift in and out. And occasionally I would pick up more stuff. And that's sort of like how you can just filter through information just on a daily basis. But uh, especially when you're dealing with something that like Samohana, which is inherently a very, uh, very layered information kind of thing where you... you do best picking out information from each layer as the repetitions go through. All right, this is Oracle. I don't know for now. Very safely, everyone.